caring for 5,000 patients a day, it's one of the largest visiting nurse associations in the country. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Bridget Murphy. She's with the Visiting Nurse Association Health Group. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. You are a statewide organization. You care for thousands of patients a day. But talk to us a little bit about the services that you work to provide, because these are really lifespan services. Sure. Well, we provide a, a, a wide spectrum of services. These include home health care, hospice, private care, and community-based care. So many different things, but you work with children through seniors. That's right. Really from infancy up until end of life, uh, we provide a whole host of services with our 1,500 nurses, home health aides, therapists, social workers, and trained uh, skilled workers who work with families and children and seniors and the disabled. Uh, really the whole spectrum of life. Many people know you as an organization that's been in place for a century at this point, but they think about you as an organization that goes out and visits people at home, but you also have uh, uh, federally qualified community health care centers where you're serving an additional 10,000 people a sure. year. Sure. What a lot of people don't realize is we also oversee, as you said, four uh, FQHCs or community health centers, and they're located in Asbury Park, uh, Keensburg, as well as Keyport, and we serve about 10,000 patients a year with primary as well as dental care. So uh, many different individuals are, are actually benefiting from you as an organization. You are a nonprofit organization and you do rely on donations as well as your fundraisers. You're having your annual uh, designer show house and this is a great opportunity for people to see an amazing historic home but at the same time see the latest in design. Sure, this is uh, one of our biggest fundraisers. It's the fourth time that we've had it since 2007. It's a beautiful Tudor estate, the Hartshorn Mansion in Little Silver, right on the banks of the Shrewsbury River. Uh, the event features, as you said, a number of uh, high-end interior designers and landscapers who will really transform the house. And tour goers will have an opportunity to go through the house, see all the different rooms, all the latest in, in design and decor, uh, and also take advantage of the Riverfront Cafe as well as a number of really specialty boutiques that will be available. And this was a home built in 1929. It's a Tudor-style mansion. It's a huge home. Yeah, 11,000 square feet. It's really magnificent. It has a number of chimneys and a level number of architectural details, some really interesting stained glass windows. So people will really have a treat when they visit this house. This was also an opportunity for designers and landscapers to come together to work to benefit you as an organization. That's right. And actually, it's the volunteers, about a thousand of them, that actually work very, very hard on this event, uh, really up for six months preceding the event to make sure that the designers and the landscapers the boutique vendors and everyone is organized, the docents in the house. It's just an unbelievable outpouring of support, as you said, from the designers, the landscapers, and the community as a whole. And as we mentioned, this is a fundraiser for you as an organization. How do people get involved? Sure. Well, they can do a number of things. We have a website, www.vnahd.org. It'll take you right to the Stately Homes by the Sea website, or you can call our 800 number that's also listed and find out more about how to get involved or actually go to the show house. And uh, people can get tickets uh, by visiting the website or giving that phone number a call as well. And this is something that's been very popular in the past. Yes. I mean, actually, uh, we've on average had 12,000 visitors from a really around the region come and visit the house. It's open six days a week, Tuesday through Sunday. We close on Monday to clean up from 10 to 4. And a great opportunity to see this amazing home located in Little Silver, New Jersey, but at the same time benefit you as an organization. Sure. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. We've been talking with Bridget Murphy. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.